So you want to unpivot your values, but the null values disappear. Well, if that's the case, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can fix that. So stay tuned. Unpivoting your values is something that's very useful to transform your data in a way that's more convenient for your data model. But one of the characteristics of unpivoting is that it takes away the null values. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we have a little data set here. It has three columns with garments and a column with the dates. Now, since all of these garments have the number of sales of it, it might be useful to unpivot this. And after you unpivot, you actually have a single column with dates, a description, and a number of values. So unpivoting means I have columns and I want to see those columns in the rows. So I could right select them. I could right click and select unpivot only the selected columns. So you can see that in the previous tab, we had these column headers, these three, and all of those actually move to the rows and get their own row for it. So when we look, we have a line for the 1st of January, 2023, and we have three values. And after we unpivot, we also have values for the 1st of January, these ones, but it's not three of them. It's actually only two. And the reason for it is because the zero or the, the null value disappeared. And it's a big difference. So if we go back to this step, we can see that the trousers for the 1st of January had a null value. And a null means the absence of a value. Now, the characteristic of the unpivot function in Power Query is that by default, it actually removes the null values. And unfortunately, there is no parameter that you can change so that it keeps the null values. I know some languages like SQL do have it. Power Query does not. So you're going to have to work with a workaround and you can do that as follows. So first we're here and we just saw unpivoting results in only 18 unique rows. Well, since we had 12 rows before and three columns, we're expecting 36 of them. Now, an easy approach is that you can select the columns where you have the null values and you need to replace those with a placeholder. So you can right click replace values. And then we're going to replace null with a placeholder. Now, in this case, I don't have any zeros in the data set and I don't expect those. So there's always going to be a value. So in this case, I could say zero. Okay. So all of my values now contain, uh, have a zero there and no more null. Now, if you unpivot, all of a sudden we actually have 36 rows. So 12 times three. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, sometimes those null values actually are valuable for you to know. So you might want to get them back after unpivoting. Well, in that case, you can right click on the value column, replace values and replace the zero with a null value. Good enough. Now, let's say you actually want both the null and the zeros. In that case, you'll need a different parameter or a different placeholder. So instead of replacing with zero, you could say I replace null by a very big number, like six times nine. And then of course, after unpivoting, you would re replace the big value, which is six times nine, back to null and you're there. But in case you don't wanna mess with numbers because they might actually overlap, what you could also do is take a different value. Like for example, um, this little, I'm not even sure what the name is, but this little symbol here is not commonly used. And then if you replace those again, you're also good to go. And then you never have the risk that you replace zeros and null values. And that's how you do it. Okay, so that was a little data challenge. I hope it was useful. I share all kinds of little Power Query tricks. So if you like this, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. And then I, uh, I hope to see you next time.